So we got the Joker, and we got Batman, the Dark Knight series. So, pop figures, you know people think they're toys, well they are toys, I kind of like to collect them, hey, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be watching the tutorial video, no, that's enough, let a man just play with his pop figures in private. <laughs> Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Shaner123 and welcome back to yet another Geek Essentials video. So we've brought up doing tutorial videos in both our 6 GHz podcast and Bremstone's Night Owl podcast. And it's something we're adding to our resume or however you want to put it here at Geek Essentials. Well anyways, I had mentioned that I have a fix for the Windows 10. I mean this air has been going on for a while. But with Windows 10 in 2015, the infamous Steam bootstrapper error where Steam will crash and it's just garbage. Now there are a couple ways you can do this. I've researched this for a few days now. Uh, well, maybe closer to a week. But anyways, one of the first things I tried was you open up your Steam folder and you you can actually this is no joke it's not a troll I know it sounds kinda out there for people that don't know other than this steam file right here this is application and your steam apps folder you can delete every file in here other than those two and then go to launch steam steam will update your games will still be there sometimes that will fix it you know not all the time but sometimes another quick easy fix is simply updating your graphics drivers I'm sure a lot of you are aware of that but you know I'm just running through different scenarios now the fix that works for me and we, like I said it works for some people you know doesn't work for all but I'm almost confident that this will work for you if you've used Steam on previous operating systems and you've come to Windows 10. And that is you, here I'll walk you all the way back, you go to the drive where your Steam's installed, mine is installed on a separate drive and not my SSD. So you would go to your Steam folder, wherever it is you put it, and you would look for the application just the steam application the steam client bootstrapper as you see right there you would right click it go to properties now compatibility now I've been using steam for a long time use it on other operating systems no problem never had this error until Windows 10 until using an SSD configuration I've done a lot of things different with this rig never had this error until Windows 10 and all these changes I made with this rig so last time Steam worked for me flawlessly was in Windows 8 so I just went and selected Windows 8 you know hit apply ran all the compatibility stuff and hit OK now I will show you how Steam launches with here let's exit it real quick this is the downside I go to launch steam and I will not get a not responding error or anything like that but it will take a second to launch it almost kinda takes its time to launch but it's in my opinion better this way that it just takes an extra minute or so to launch than to not launch at all or to crash or something along that line but if you just give it a second here steam will launch and I really I it's a bummer that it launches slow but I would rather like I said much rather have it launch slow than either not at all or crash or you'd wait for it to launch and then you get that not responding bootstrapper error so as I said I am I'm really sorry that it, you know it's taken this long but for the sake of the tutorial I, I would like you guys to see that this compatibility mode even though it kinda slowed it down quite a bit as you see has fixed my problem 
and hopefully will fix yours. Oh my gosh, see? It's a little slow. And it has no reason to be slow. I mean, this rig I built is is a freaking beast. There, that's coming up in an, in a another video. But see, as you see, Steam is launched. We'll give it a second, so you see that there's no not responding error or no bootstrapper error. We'll just, you know, I'll show you that it works just fine running in compatibility mode. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of you more experienced users knew right off the bat, okay, compatibility mode is going to be my best friend with Windows 10 and things crashing. But, as you can see, fully functional, works just fine. So, yeah, Ark, I really got to play that game. Really interested in it. Uh, but, yeah, so the compatibility mode, one more time. You would go to where your Steam is at. Mine's on my F drive. Steam folder right out there in the open. The Bootstrapper Steam Client application. Right click it. Compatibility. Go to the last operating system you used that Steam worked on. Click Apply. Click OK. Restart Steam and you're good to go. So, or like I said, you can delete everything in your Steam folder other than the app and your Steam apps folder. Your games will still be there. You'll launch Steam. It'll update. Sometimes that'll work. So anyways, guys, this has been Shaner123 with Geek Essentials. I hope this has been of some help. And remember, down in the description below is a link to our websites. Also a link to our YouTube network. You'll start at a higher revenue share than you'll get in most places. And... I, I'm willing to work with you on anything you need help with. I'm putting the networking back into YouTube networks. I'm not just going to hand you some watermarks and some basic general instructions and say, hey, go have fun. No, we're here to grow together as a team. So make sure to click that apply button. You can even send me a tweet or whatever right when you're done in case I don't have the tab open. So right when you're done applying, and I'll go take a look at your application right away. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is Shaner123 with Geek Essentials, and I'll catch you in the next one.